I do for you? Um, so I've been kind of dealing with an ongoing situation. Um, I belonged to export or had membership with export for 10 plus years. Um, I have several family members who also work for export. Um, in the recent, I'd say past year, there have been uh, multiple issues and concerns that I've had. Uh, I upgraded my membership so that I can attend any location um, of, of export uh, because I have been moving around a lot this year. Um, I went to a new gym in Schaumburg and Arlington Heights for about two weeks. Uh, I would say about three, three weeks or a month ago. It was uneventful. I didn't have any issues. Um, on the third or fourth week, uh, a woman and her three friends followed me from my car into the club, into the locker room, onto the Stairmaster. Um, there was no one else in the whole club and she came to the one right next to me and I asked her, you know, was there a problem? She said, no, um, I opted to leave. I got down off the Stairmaster, went into the locker room. Her and her two friends or three friends followed me into the locker room. Um, I left and just decided to go to a different club. I got in my car and drove to Addison. I scanned my badge in at Addison and did a full workout. And upon completing my workout, I attempted to utilize the hydro massage in the spa. Um, when they scanned my fob or I'm sorry, my key tag a second time, they said, oh my God, someone just terminated you in our system. And I said, I don't know what that means, but I just paid in full for any club membership, you know, again, um, you know, and why would that happen? No one could really okay, explain. So I gave you all that I gave you the money out of the door, right? We had to terminate I'm sorry? our relationship with you because of erratic complaints and behavior. I'm, I'm sorry. You a Excuse me. I, I can't hear you. So the way that normally conversation works is one person makes a statement or question and then the other person begins to talk um, once that person stops. I didn't well, hear anything you said. I, I would, because you had been holding for an hour, I thought I would get to the punchline here. We terminated our relationship with you and we gave you money out of the drawer. We're not selling you a membership, offering you a membership, or discussing a membership. We I was called the following day and apologized. It doesn't matter. We're done. And who are you? You've spoken to me multiple times. You know who I am. What's your my name? name is Ms. My name is Miss Kelly. And Heather, I really... I've never spoken to you before. I, yeah, we've spoken many we've times. We've never Remember, spoken your, before. Your mother... Your mother works. We've never spoken day. before. Are you the yes. one who's responsible for strong arming my mother and exploiting her? Um, if you want to put it that way, sure. Got it. Um, and I'll just so you sure. know, this is yeah. all public. I, this is being recorded and broadcasting publicly. Right. Do you mind if I get her on the phone right now, your mother? Um, what I mi what I mind about is the fact that you just admitted to exploiting and um, threatening my family members, and you've also and you've also and you've also gone above and beyond at lying and telling fictitious information um, about me. So there's never been a single there's never been a si stop talking because now I'm talking and that's again let me re-educate you on how a conversation works. You say something and then I say something. Am I volatile? You just said you just said you just said that you were exploiting my mother. Who's volatile? Who's volatile? What, what have I done? What has happened? What have I done? Can you name one thing? Because I have, I have several hours. I have several hours of, of video footage along with photos. How am I doing that? I just called corporate because you terminated my membership for no reason after I worked out. Now you have claimed that I have strong arms 
No, no, ma'am. You claimed that on recording on my live feed where I'm broadcasting in front of thousands of people. So I'm going to move forward with charges against you now. What was your name, please, for the record? I have other Gillespie on the line. What was your name, please, for the record? My name is Kelly. Kelly what? Kelly what? You can call me you can call me Miss Kelly and I am a senior What is your name, ma'am? What is your name, ma'am? I What is your name, ma'am? I gave you my name. No, you said Kelly. What is your first and last name? We are you are involved in continuing to perpetuate a violent series of events against several innocent people. The shit needs to stop. It should have stopped a long time ago. Everything you're saying is a lie. I just publicly recorded you admitting to what you're doing to my mother. I would like a first and last name now, please. No. I told you, you said that I was... This is after, so this is after an hour of being on hold for export. She's claiming to be, I don't even believe she is any sort of CEO for export. In my investigations, it's my belief that export was overtaken during the time of the pandemic. I don't know who this woman is. I think she's somehow related to Charlie Keen. And I'm 99% sure that they have been um, forcing my mom, among other family members, myself included, uh, into fucked up situations because they have some sort of federal pull. They claim to be feds. They're not. They refuse to show any badges. They refuse to show any sort of qualifying information. They refuse to even share a, a first and last name. So um, she's still on the phone listening, as you can see. This has been ongoing now for quite some time. This woman does not work for Export, um, and she has gone above and beyond to not only strong arm my mom and threaten my mom and me into multiple different things, um, but it just took an hour and three minutes to even get her on the phone to address the issue. Um, so again, um, I have all of the video evidence that I need to prove that A, I was an employee of Export um, who was targeted for no reason. After five days of working there, they looked me dead in my, in my face and said they would never hire me. I have it all on video. Um, I have the entire HR handbook that they sent me with a background check authorization having already been completed and passed. Um, so it's just a matter of where does the, this information need to go? Um, and again, I've gone in front of, uh, or I've attempted to go in front of a judge numerous times. I've petitioned the court multiple times to get in front of a judge. I 100% want to press criminal charges for harassment, slander, bullying, all of those things. Um, there's a list my attorney has, uh, as well as multiple other, um, I don't want to call them friends, um, because they're strangers to me who I met while fighting this case because my friends have had to be isolated. So they're people who hold on to the proof um, so that if these people continue with these shenanigans um, and with the invisible fence of not allowing me to go in front of a judge and show what I have proof of, um, you know, they can be charged accordingly. So again, this is an hour and a half, um, I'm sorry, an hour and four minutes I spent on hold waiting for this woman to get on the phone, um, say three lies, admit to doing everything that I that I already suspected them of doing. It was almost like a hostage situation and it still is, it's ongoing. They've got them, they're forcing their employees to run drugs. They're forcing their employees to be involved in shit um, that none of the employees want any part in um, and then holding their job over their head if they refuse to do it. This is supposedly Kelly Cartwright. This is not the same voice as the one that I recorded um, from the person who did my hair when I was at the Addison Club. Again, I've got all the audio um, to prove that. So someone at this time needs to move forward with um, charging these people. 